<laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no overhead or nothing that far. So, um, when like in your younger years, like when you was dealing with uh, multiple P's and shit, uh, motherfuckers that was really uh, 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 popping their P's, you know what I'm saying? Not this pusher P shit that Gunner saying, but some real P's. What was like, what was those experiences like? You know what I mean? Um, I actually, uh, there's been a piece I've actually had, like, uh, there's this one P I had, his name, uh, I actually took a charge for him. Well, you know, one time we got stopped in fucking outside of Austin and shit. And we, there's this trick that I gave one of the hoes the meth and you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But, uh, I guess they were going to sell it or I don't know what they were going to do with it, but we had weed on us and shit. And the other bitch, she had stuffed that shit in her pussy. But I mean, I had went to jail for that shit and then some extra weed. But you know what I'm saying? Like him for one, like I've done left him so many times and he took me back. You know what I'm saying? But I've never and I've never fucked him like never like that probably could have fucked him a few times. But I just. I didn't look at him like that. I looked at it like family, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though like I was, you know, I would go leave and come back because I was in my addiction still, you know what I'm saying? Like I was still in between like fighting my addiction and then going back, fighting my addiction and then going back, you know what I'm saying? But he did teach me a lot, you know what I mean? And he was, he was real good. Like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie there. Sometimes it was hard for me to be in pocket with him because like, if his cousin were to come around or something, I would have to like, keep my head down and not even look type shit. You know how hard that shit is to not look at somebody else, some other fucking dude or whatever. Like, damn, I'm trying to see if he's fine or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess, I don't know. I just, it was really hard, but I mean, I did do it though. You know what I'm saying? Because that was, you know, my daddy at the time, you know what I'm saying? It was just, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he's never put his hands on me, but I mean, he has spit in my face once or twice, (laughs) but whatever. (laughs) I mean, at least I should, I'd rather be spit on than fucking beat on. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, shit, hey. it, I mean, it's degrading as fuck, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just a part of, you know, being in that type of lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Some, some niggas you get, you know, they, they'll put their hands on you, beat on you. I've been in a few of those, you know what I'm saying? And I've made a way to fucking leave, you know what I'm saying? Because first off, a real pimp ain't going to fuck up its merchandise for one. That's not you know what I'm saying? If, if anything, slap a bitch or, you know, if you want to beat on her, beat on her where you can't see it. You know what I'm saying? But you fuck your merchandise up, then shit, you ain't getting no money. Yeah, you don't even, like, motherfuckers don't even need to really get to that point. If, like, you know what I mean? If your words is good, you can get your words across and get points across very, very, very clearly if you say it the right way you know what i'm saying without getting physical and going out of character because you know motherfuckers i know of that lifestyle uh you would never see them out of their character like they would get their point across without all the hoorah and shit but right you know but it's different out here in california you know because you have motherfuckers that uh that are like gangbangers and be doing it then you have motherfuckers that we really be doing it and they be intermingling and a whole bunch of extra shit but anyways so what uh Dealing, so you you've dealt with uh like uh gorillas before, like gorilla uh, peas before, like you've had like gorilla folks before. Yeah, I've had a few of those. Um, I usually tend to notice like because uh, I don't when I did you know get with a pimp or whatever. Like recently, I actually just left some folks, mm-hmm. honestly. Um, and I came back home to my girlfriend and shit like that, but uh. I just I can usually get a vibe on shit like that now like if I feel like you're just too like aggressive or just the way that you speak you know what I'm saying if you're just too aggressive with me I'm falling back you know what I'm saying but back then too when I was young like I didn't know my self-worth 
you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't actually really love myself like that. Like, you know, and I actually had to get some, like, talk to myself even recently when I was in New Orleans and shit like that. Like, I honestly don't even need no pimp. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. It's good to have, you know, learn game from them or whatever the case may be. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was when I was 20. You know, like, I used to love it. I used to actually fucking like that shit. When, like, pimp was, pimp talked me like, hey, man, saying, you know, all of that shit. Like, damn, that shit used to low-key turn me on. Like, I'd be like, damn. Like, yeah. I, have- I don't know. It was I had, a homegirl, I had a homegirl tell me that exact shit one time. She was she told me uh she was like she I forget exactly how she said it, but it's essentially that's what she said. She was like this motherfucker, like like his pimping was just on point, like how he came at me and all that, like everything was just checked the right boxes and it's just like you know, it's it's a lifestyle that's not for many, but that's for some. You know what I mean? Most won't get it, but a lot will get it. You know what I mean? Um and I just feel like too, like you know, like, even when I was in New Orleans, you know, and I was just with some folks or whatever, yo, I was making you damn near 1200 every fucking day, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I probably could have made more, but shit was really slowing down out there, and I really wasn't working, like, I was really just working the lines and played, you know what I'm saying? And I was on the East, but I should have been had an apartment for one. Right. I have had a fucking or started working on a car or at least had my body done. Come on, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. It's, I feel like it was just a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? A waste of my time and my money that I worked for. You know what I'm saying? Why you sit on your ass and play Xbox 360 or whatever the fuck you play. You know what I'm saying? While I'm out here walking up and down the strip. And you're smoking blunt after blunt with your pee partners and all that shit. Hell nah, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. You sell some dick and see what it fucking feels like walking up and down in some fucking stiletto heels and shit like that. <laughs> the fuck for hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell nah. Fuck all that shit. Yeah, walk until your feet hurt. But uh, yeah, 